9 to 15 as all of us know that they have to require their boosters they have been already immunized in the childhood but many a times what happens is the parent are very careful to give the immunization during the childhood like okay zero month one month three month all that they will follow but when it comes to a teenager most of the times literally almost i will say about 30% do not come for the booster. So this is a time they have to take their boosters for triple uh, triple vaccine and for hepatitis. Nowadays, we have one more vaccine, which is a vaccine against human papilloma virus. A little bit about a human papilloma virus. This is a virus which has a lot of affinity to the genital epithelia. And that's why it's also transmitted sexually. This is the reason for cervical cancers. And cervical cancer is one of the most leading cancers, especially in a developing country like us. And if you can prevent the HPV infection, it can be prevented. So you can see the amount of good which this HPV vaccine will do. You can give this vaccine right from the age of 9 years to 45 years. Ideally, it has to be given before embarking on to the sexual activity. Now, there are times when people ask, Doctor, my daughter is not going to get married and not going to have a sexual activity till the age of 20, 22. Why do I give her now at 9 years of age? The reason behind is, Earlier, if you give the vaccine, the immune response of the body is much better than when you give it later. And that's why you can start giving it right from the age of nine years. Another advantage is if you give it before the age of 15, only two vaccines will be required. Whereas after the age of 15, there will be three vaccines which are required. So this is for the teenagers or an adolescent group. Pre-pregnancy, yes. Again, pre-pregnancy, if it has not been uh, given earlier or if a woman is not immune, especially to the rubella, we have to test it. If she is not immune to the rubella, we need to give her a rubella vaccine. Still better, maybe MMR vaccine. Why do we give rubella vaccine at a pre-pregnancy level? The reason is rubella, which is a German measles, if it occurs in a otherwise non-pregnant adult, it has a very, very mild course, like a little bit of a fever, little lymph nodes which are enlarged and a coppery rash on the body, which us like Indians in dark color women, we don't even realize. But if it occurs during pregnancy, it has a devastating effect on the fetus especially if it is contacted during the first trimester. If it's contacted in the first trimester, it can lead to abortion. If the baby survives, it can affect all the systems of the baby, including the hearing. It can cause congenital cataracts, so the sight is affected. It can also affect the cardiovascular system. And that's why if a woman is not immune to rubella, before pre-pregnancy, one has to give it to her. Same thing goes with the hepatitis B and also the varicella vaccine. If, if she's not immunized with the HPV earlier, this is a time you can give it. In case, if you give it and if she becomes pregnant with any of these vaccines, there's nothing to worry about it. Ideally, the pregnancy should be avoided at least for one cycle or a 28 days. But... Even if she gets pregnant, it's not an indication for a termination. HPV vaccine, which is a three doses, in case if she takes a first vaccine and if she gets pregnant, you can defer the other two vaccine till she delivers. So this is during the uh, pre-pregnancy level. And during pregnancy, of course, there are two most important vaccines. One is an influenza vaccine. And second is... TD, that is tetanus plus diphtheria, and the third is Tdap, that is tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis. <laughs>